Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and in this video we are going to see another new release for the support of Apple Silicon M1 is out. I mean the big release or the big software release that we were all expecting for. I mean if you remember yesterday we were talking about the Docker's support for MacBook Pro M1 chip and now the another software which I was talking about, the Parallel Desktop is also available or is supported for the Apple's M1 chip, which is really, really cool. I mean, we have been waiting this for a pretty long time right now, and this is currently supported as well. And as you can see over here, clearly it tells that the Parallels has released for a technical preview program for running the Parallel Desktop 16 on M1 powered Macs. And the company says that it is it has created a new virtualization engine that uses the Apple M1 chip hardware-based virtualization to allow users to run the ARM-based operating system including Windows in a virtual machine which is pretty cool and there are some pain points which the team has already said and I have already signed up for the technical preview build for the panels and I clearly tells that there are some limitations before you can install or start using this panel desktop within your machine it is not possible to install or start an Intel x86 based operating system in the virtual machines and it is not possible to suspend or resume a virtual machine including reverting to a running state snapshot. I guess that will not work as well. And similarly it is not possible to use the close button when virtual machine is running shut down the virtual machine instead. So we cannot just go and close the virtual machine that we used to do in the parallels desktop most of the time. This is also not available and similarly ARM32 application do not work in the virtual machine at the moment. So that is another uh, caveat so far. And it is very, very easy to start installing. I mean, the team, the parallel desktop team has clearly said, please install this on the M1 Mac alone, not on the Intel x86 machine because it will not work. So I'm just going to start downloading it and I will see how it actually works. So there is a uh, key available already, the activation key. So I'm just going to download it first and we'll see how it actually works. So I'm just going to hit allow and it's going to start downloading it. If you remember in our earlier video, we discussed about the Docker support and it was using the new virtualization engine for running the Docker and it's exactly the same idea that the parallel desktop team has to use as well in order to use the virtualization. So I guess that's what they mean about they built a new virtualization support for the parallels desktop. So it's currently downloaded so I'm just going to start installing it right now and you can see that the parallel desktops for 16 is available. So I'm just going to do an install which is nothing but double clicking it. I'm just going to hit open and I'm not going to send any data as I'm just going to hit accept and I need to enter my password. I'm going to allow the download folders for now. I'm going to give all the permissions. All right. And the downloads. Hit finish. And it says parallel desktop would like to access the files on removable volumes. Of course, I need to give the access because that's where my operating system is sitting. So it tells very clearly that your Mac computer is powered by Mac Apple M1 chip, which is built on the ARM architecture. This is a new platform, has the following limitations. Again, it tells very clearly existing virtual machines created on the Intel based machine computer will not work. So it's pretty understandable. And it is not possible to create a new virtual machine using an Intel x86 based operating system installer. So I'm not going to do that as well. So I'm just going to hit continue. And you can see that it, had, it has already found an uh, iOS file, which is already sitting within my uh, external hard drive. So I'm just going to hit continue. And it clearly tells that the specified image cannot be used because your Mac is equipped with an Apple M1 chip that does not supports an Intel based operating system. So I need to install an operating system which can run on an ARM based architecture. So that's the major thing that I need to be doing and that's when I need to download and install the Windows 10 with ARM architecture not the architecture which is the Intel based architecture on this parallel desktop. So this is a limitation at the moment but we can try downloading an ARM based operating system of Windows 10 like a, it's like a technical preview as well it's not the full version available we can try downloading it and we can see how it actually works so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go download the Windows 10 ARM um, uh, iOS download 
uh, sorry iso download and this is the um, iso so basically in order to download this you need to be a uh, insider preview build member i'm already a part of the insider preview build uh, member and i've been testing windows 10 for a pretty long time right now so i'm just going to go and download this uh, arm 64 uh, bit insider preview build and we'll see how it actually looks so you can see that it is currently downloading the vhdx for us and uh, we can do this and we can see how it actually works so it seems like it's a very huge uh, size it's like 8.17 gb so it's going to take some time because of my network and stuff so i'll be back once the whole downloading is uh, completed and then we can just use this vhdx file uh, in our parallels desktop and see how it actually works so maybe i can just quit this guy and uh, while the download is fully done we can try to access this vhdx file and see how it actually works so i'll be back once the download is done all right so the huge 8.17 gb of data has been downloaded uh, so now i can open the parallels desktop and we can see how it actually works so i'm trying it for the first time so i'm not sure if i face any issues but i'm just gonna give a shot and i'm gonna see how it actually works so it automatically detected the vhdx file that we just downloaded and it is sitting on the downloads folder which is pretty intelligent so i'm just gonna hit create so you can see that it could able to detect the arm 64-bit windows 10 operating system instantly and pretty insanely which is pretty cool so i could see that the setup of the operating system with parallels desktop is currently happening for the arm based processor the most important thing which i'm pretty excited to see is how the actual usage or how the actual speed of this particular experience is going to look like so you can see that it is asking me if i am a new user or something like that i'm actually a new user i don't really have a uh, parallel desktop account so i'm just gonna sign in with facebook or maybe i can sign in with apple if i want to right it's a very secure privacy enabled enabled experience of uh, the sign-in experience i'm pretty glad to see that and it's asking me to enter the activation key and if you remember the activation key is there on this particular page so i'm just going to copy this activation uh, key i'm going to paste this one it looks all right so then i'm just going to activate it so you can see that it's activating the parallel desktop and it's successfully activated so currently i'm using the parallel desktop pro edition which is pretty cool so it's because it's just a trial version or it's just like a technical developer preview version it has all the features that is really required is actually been given for us just to try out and see how it actually works so i guess only less people have installed this particular palace desktop so far and that's the reason the team are trying to push as many people as possible so that we can actually see how it actually works so you can see that it is preparing to configure the virtual machine I guess it's going to take some time. All right. So now you can see that the Windows 10 is currently going to run for the first time in the Apple's M1 architecture, the two as an ARM based architecture of Windows 10. So I'm excited to see this for the first time. I mean, I have never seen an ARM based Windows 10 running on an ARM based machine, which is the Apple's M1 architecture so pretty excited to see what's going to happen so you can see that so many flickerings are going on there and i could see the welcome screen of windows 10 so it said hi to me now so i think it's getting ready i mean that's the usual thing so we could able to prove now that windows 10 is actually running on an apple silicon m1 chip at the moment which is pretty cool but if Windows or Microsoft start supporting the Windows 10 ARM based machine directly with Apple M1 chip it is going to be really really awesome as well because as you know Windows 10 ARM is actually an ARM based operating system and if they enable or allow to run the ARM based machine directly with the Apple silicon it will be even more amazing but the only problem I think Microsoft will not allow is because their Windows 10 if it runs on the Apple M1 chip it is going to be much much faster than their surface pro x as we all know it is not that up to the mark than compared to the apple silicon and i guess that's the reason microsoft will be restricting it for some time but later on they will not have any choice to just leave this directly to apple m1 or apple m2 or apple m3 or apple based silicon chip to start using it and i could see that the windows 10 is currently up and running guys which is 
pretty cool and I could see that it is going to be again the same seamless experience and I could see that I'm working like a notepad here it's super fast actually so if I try to run on a coherence mode it's also supporting the coherence mode as well which is pretty cool so I probably don't want to do that at the moment I just want to make this screen bigger and I want to see how the screen uh, the particular experience is going to look like I could see it's pretty faster it is really really faster and I'm gonna do a Windows E and you can see that the Explorer is coming through uh, which is quite good and I'm I'm really saying guys it is really really faster I mean I don't see a bit of lag as well it doesn't even look close to a bit of lag it is pretty faster and you can see the animations is also a bit laggy but it is actually good and uh, if I try to browse from here you can see that it is working fine so apple.com you can see that it's it's pretty faster uh, and you can see that it's it's looking pretty cool and this is the Microsoft website it's also looking good close the all the tabs and if I just go to this PC go to the properties you can see that this is basically an arm v8 uh, chipset based uh, processor model that it's showing and this is a Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview 2004 version which is amazing so everything is looking good and it's an ARM based processor operating system running on a parallels desktop and it's looking pretty much as expected so that's it guys this is looking really good and once again as the team has said you cannot directly close it if you just try to close it it will not close and you will try to run that uh, that's kind of an issue the only way we need to do is is to shut down the uh, the virtual machine in order to close this window that's what the one of the limitations of the panel desktop at the moment but I could see that it is working as expected and this is pretty cool I'm really excited to see this working and I'm definitely sure that many other improvements are going to be coming pretty soon after the holidays from Parallels desktop team and the speed is going to be the one thing which I always expected to see on the Apple M1 and I think I'm definitely sure it's going to be pretty amazing than Surface Pro X even though it runs on Parallel desktop. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one with the latest and the greatest update of Apple M1 chipsets. Thank you.